happy people i'm back with another video and i'm super excited today i am going to be showing you all my first silicone practice hand okay um i have been wanting to get a silicone practice hand forever because i don't always have time to um do designs on my actual nails or on me so i'm excited to have something to practice with and practice on so here is my package i did get her from amazon okay and let's unbox her on camera together. Okay, so I'm excited and nervous because I feel like practice hands look kind of weird. Um, but yeah, here we go. Wow, okay. So I found a really good deal on Amazon. I think this practice hand was like $42 or maybe 45 bucks. I know it was under $50 and it came with all of these accessories as well. So. That's why I really wanted to pick this particular hand up. But let's see what is all included. So, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna save her for last. So we're just gonna put her right here, okay? So these are all the accessories that it came with. So it came with some it came with some nail brushes here. Actually, let me pour this all out so it's not too loud. Okay, so it came with some nail brushes here, okay? It came with some buffing tools, which that's pretty cool. You can never have too many of these. So we got some buffing blocks. It came with some um, nail clippers. So when your nails are too long, you wanna just clip them down. That's awesome. It came with some nail files. These are some zebra files. These seem like they're decent quality too. So that's great. You can never have too many files. And then it also came with Oh, it looks like these are some tips. Very cool, okay. So, yeah, we got some nail tips here. So, let's see, that will probably go on this hand here. So it came with some nail tips. So I'm assuming this is probably what's gonna go in the practice hand, I'm not really sure. But the star of the show, let's move this out the way, you guys. So, yeah, this feels kinda weird, but here we go. Okay, let me, <laughs> this is kind of weird actually, like looking at this hand, like in person, it, it actually does feel like a real hand. That is so strange, wow. It looks really nice though, cool. Look at the veins on it, okay. Look at the detailing in the knuckles and such. Okay, she looks a little bit paler than I thought. I wanted to get something that was kind of, you know, close to my skin tone. So she's a little bit paler than I thought. But what I'm planning to do is, I saw some people like use makeup to kind of help like make it look even more realistic. So yeah, I'm liking how this looks. Like, so this is her and this is the inside of it. This is kind of creepy though, I'll be honest with you. Like, it looks like a, like a real hand, like, wow. But I like how like nice and delicate she looks though. She looks really, really beautiful. And it's like squishy. <laughs> I guess I've never had like, this is my first silicone hand you guys, so bear with me. But yeah, these look really nice. Um, let me try to see with these nail tips that came with it, see if they actually fit in her nail bed. So let's see how this works. Um, this one's too wide. Okay, yeah, they fit. Nice, okay. So yeah, that's how they look in here. That's pretty cool. Um, I feel like natural colored tips might look a little bit better on her. Yeah, so that's how it looks in the nail bed here. This is really pretty and really cool. So yeah, you guys, this is actually my first practice hand. Um, let me know what you think about her. I am gonna put her to use and do like some different designs and such with her, but let me know what you think. So I have here, this is like practice tips that I have. I wanna see if I can get some of these to fit in her nail bed. Cause these, some of these have like the natural colors. Oops. I wanted to see if these can fit in her nail bed because I feel like 
the clear ones don't really make her look too natural. Okay, so now I have her nails all inserted here. I just went ahead and put some natural tips onto her nail beds. And this looks like a really nice practice hand, you guys. What do you think? Like her hands look really nice and delicate. Like, yeah, I'm happy to have this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and test her out and see how she performs. Um, I do have a link down in the description um, for this practice hand in case you want to get your hands on her, but I really like it a lot. It's posable so she can move any which direction you need her to move. <laughs> that looks kind of weird, but you know, she moves wherever you need her to move. Like say if you're working, trying to follow around the cuticle area, like it rotates. So that's really nice and that's really cool. So I'm going to be excited to practice um, playing around with more nail art, um, in particular doing like acrylic and poly gel and things like that. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Um, I think this is a decent practice hand for a first practice hand anyway. Um, and I say that because it came with a lot of extra goodies too, like the nail file, the nail buffer, etc. So yeah, I'll be excited to um, see how she holds up. I'm really going to be curious about how this cuticle area is going to hold up, especially like when I'm filing and such. But yeah, I really like this a lot. Like this is this is pretty cool. So yeah, this is the practice hand that I got. And then another thing I've wanted to show you all too is that with this nail, I mean with this silicone hand, um, it's not a lot of I guess room for longer tips. So if I try to push this tip back all the way. This is actually the furthest back that it goes, as you can see. So um, I feel like the Ray Iguana hand, at least when I looked at reviews, um, that the, the cuticle area has a little bit of a deeper nail bed, but that's not a big deal to me at all because um, that's not a big deal to me at all because it's my first hand, so I really don't even know what to expect. But um, yeah, I'm hoping to get a lot of use out of this hand. So yeah, I just wanted to show you all that. So I do want to name my new hand and I'm going, I'm calling on all of my male sisters right now. Y'all help me out. What should I name this beauty? Okay, cause we're going to be seeing her a lot in a lot of future tutorials. And so yeah, let's give her a name. Um, I don't even have, I can't even think of any um, names off the top of my head. Um, yeah, I want something kind of quirky, different, unique, um, but also simple. <laughs> so yeah, help me um, give her a name down in the comments. I'm taking any and all suggestions. And um, once we find a name that we like for her, we are going to go ahead and start putting it to use, okay? So yeah, let me know what you all think about this practice hand. Um, I'm going to put her to the test and let you know how it holds up. If you all have recommendations for other practice hands, I'm actually open to um, trying and testing out other ones as well. So let me know down in the comments if you all have like a favorite one, um, but something that's affordable. I really want to get my hands on the Red Iguana, but this is what I have for now. Um, so yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.